A melody played on the saxophone. A melody is made up of different notes going up and down in pitch, and giving it shape, like this. gymnasts with your finger this time as they move along, up and down. Ready? Did you notice the music is also following the gymnast up and down? Listen. I'm playing that music on the piano, repeating the same note as the gymnast runs along the floor, then jumping up and jumping down. We'll see that again, but something's different. What is it? The gymnast ran along the floor. She jumped up, but then she didn't jump down. She climbed down step by step. is the beginning of our song A B C D. Listen. A B C D useful for me learning to write and read all that we'll ever need A B C D. Listen to the melody again and make its shape in the air like this. A B C D useful for me just follow the lights up and down with your finger. Ready? A, B, C, D, useful for me. Learning to write and read all that we'll ever need. A, B, C, D. Try singing the song now. Come in after three. One, two, three, A, B, C, D. Useful for me, learning to write and read all that we'll ever need, A, B, C, D. Halfway through, the tune repeats itself. Listen. Learning to write and read is exactly the same tune as all that we'll ever need. Sing that line with me, after three. One, two, three, learning to write and read all that we'll ever need. And again. One, two, three, learning to write and read all that we'll ever need. Now, sit up and sing the song from the beginning again. After three. One, two, three, A, B, C, D. Useful for me. Learning to write and read all that we'll ever need. A, B, C, D. The tunes I'm playing on the piano follow the gymnasts up and down, but this time I'm going to make a deliberate mistake. Can you spot it?
Did you spot the mistake? As the gymnast slid down, the music slid up. Let's put it right. Well, that's one way of putting it right, but we could have done it this way. Today we've got Kevin playing the tuba, Kevin playing the bass drum. David playing the trombone. And John playing the alto saxophone. The saxophone looks as if it's made of brass, like the trombone and the tuba over there. Yeah. Well, as you'll see, the body of the saxophone is golden shiny, and it looks very much like the, the trombone and tuba. And it is, in fact, made of the same material. It's made of brass. But it's not a member of the brass family because of this mouthpiece. If I take it off, I can show you. Here, the front of the mouthpiece is plastic, black plastic. And on the back, attached to the plastic mouthpiece, is a piece of bamboo cane, which is known as a reed. Now, the reed and mouthpiece themselves make a rather peculiar noise, sounding like this. <coughs> but when attached to the instrument itself, it makes an altogether different sort of noise. saxophone actually a woodwind instrument then? It is indeed. It's a member of the woodwind family in the orchestra uh, and it's substantially similar to the clarinet in the way that it's played. Now this is a clarinet which as you'll see has similarly the black plastic mouthpiece with the bamboo cane attached to it in the same way. It sounds a little bit different though. <laughs> <laughs> 